On the next, Murray. For over 14 years, our next guest kept her normalcy a secret from friends, neighbors, relatives, and anybody who ran the risk of exposing her. And now she's here to discuss the shame of that experience and talk about her new tell-all book, I Just Wanna Go Crazy. Can you please give a warm welcome, everybody, to Meredith Durang. Meredith, when did you first start noticing your normalcy? Well, I was 23. I had just gotten married. My husband worked for a major accounting firm right here in the city. We had just bought a new house and were planning on having kids and everything was perfect. That's when I noticed something was wrong. Uh-huh. Well, I can imagine. So what did you do? I mean, here you are, you have this great life, everything's hunky-dory, but it's not, is it? No, not at all, Murray. I mean, I noticed paying my car insurance on time, wondering what foods would be healthiest to feed my family, balancing my checkbook at the end of the week, all the telltale signs. So what did you do? I mean, I can't imagine the stress you must have been under hiding it from your husband. Because you were hiding it by this time, right? Oh yeah, he didn't have a clue. He thought I was as schizoid as the next guy. My mother and father could maybe tell something was up, I wasn't sure. But I did make it a point not to invite them over to the house much. I didn't want them seeing any neatly stacked magazines with glasses of lemonade or hidden bottles of furniture polish. And God forbid they should see how well Robert and I have been getting along. Robert, this is your husband? Yes. Well, he was my husband. He left when he found out. Oh my, so, so how did he find out? I mean, what was the breaking point for you? When did you say to yourself, Meredith, I just can't take it anymore. This is all just too normal. Well, I really knew I hit rock bottom when I started wondering if the school district we lived in would be a good one to send our kids to. Robert even caught me googling the cost of private schools one afternoon just to see how expensive they might be. I just lost it. I said, Robert, I'm too normal. I'm just way too normal. Oh, I was in tears and he just kept saying, no, you're not, you're not, you're hysterically crying. Nothing about this is normal at all. But by then I knew it was too late. I knew how normal I was. And at first we tried therapists and my family doctor. We spoke with the reverend who married us. Finally, a family friend recommended a psychiatrist that had helped his family out in their time of need, named Dr. Schweizer, who diagnosed me with ADD, abnormal deficiency disorder, and he started me on medications right away. Finally, I started to feel better knowing there was something wrong with me. And I'm proud to say I haven't felt normal for a very long time now.